so much going on this week. Elon Musk out as the chair of Tesla. Over the weekend, Musk reaching a settlement with the SEC just a few days after the agency filed a lawsuit against him over his now infamous take private tweet. Musk and Tesla are each going to pay a $20 million fine, and Musk will step down as chair for the next three years. Now, federal regulators reportedly prevented Musk from tweeting about Tesla over the weekend without first getting the okay from the company's lawyers. Also worth noting, production numbers for the quarter expected out today or tomorrow, and shares of Tesla surging pre-market. Earlier, they were up about 13 percent, now close to a 20 percent gain about 15% right now, but it did get at one point close to a 20% gain at the open after this news. That's right. One thing that is quite interesting here is the restrictions on Twitter now for Elon Musk, as you mentioned. So the board is going to have to set up this permanent committee essentially to monitor Elon Musk's communications to investors and to the public, including, as you mentioned, his posts on Twitter and social media. So the members of that committee will be subject to the review and approval of the SEC but a broader question here, Kristen, is does this set a precedent for future monitoring of tweets of other executives, politicians maybe, where they've had free reign thus far? This is the first big example of an executive of a company basically being monitored for what he says on social media. It's definitely true. And if you look at his Twitter feed over the past 24 hours or so, I mean, very short, terse sorts of tweets. I mean, he does play with with a mink, wink emoji at one point, but it would seem as if maybe the lawyers are giving a look at these tweets before he sends them out. I think interesting among the many different stories going on in this one overarching story here is what is this going to do to Tesla's major marketing power, which is Elon Musk himself, which is known for his surprising unexpected tweets and how much fuel that's put behind both the Tesla bulls and even the bears at time. This is a company that has not paid a lot of money for marketing on its own, but rather relied on its charismatic founder. And when lawyers have to parse every single word that you're putting <laughs> out there, it makes it a little trickier. Well, so you mentioned the wink in his tweet. He also tweeted the music video to the 1991 hip hop song OPP by Naughty by Nature. That was one of the first tweets he had after the settlement was announced. What does that mean? Who even knows? But maybe that wasn't yet <laughs> reviewed by any lawmakers. But I mean, I guess the, better than a take private tweet that yeah, squeezed a lot of shareholders. Exactly. But of course, Tesla's other problems, they're still continuing, still struggling to produce and deliver their Model 3s. They're short on cash, as we've been talking about for so long. Short sellers still targeting the company. Um, SEC also looking into the company's past claims about its production goals. So the tweet wasn't the only thing the SEC was looking into. So a lot of movements here. For How does it change the day-to-day -day operations? Yeah. We're going to have all of these questions answered later in the show. we got a great guest on this coming up.